What's up guys, B by Mash UK, Speed VR, with another video for you. I want to talk about um, upgrading your CPU for VR, especially if you've got 3080 or a 3090 or um, one of the AMD top end GPUs because I keep being told that the reason why I'm not hitting the frame rates that I expected to hit with the 3090 and using the G2, HP Reverb G2 is because my CPU is a number of years old. Now I've actually proven this today and I got my friend to run the same tests that I've been running and there's no way on earth I'm going to upgrade for my Intel 7700K i7 which is currently running at 4.9 gig I'll explain where the extra 100 megahertz has gone to because you probably know I usually run at 5 gig but I'll explain why in a moment and he's got an i9 my friend has got an Intel i9 10900K Okay, that was 2020's flagship Intel um, gaming C, uh, CPU. That required, obviously, a purchase of the CPU and a new motherboard. And it cost him 900 quid, 900 pound. And the difference in frame rates He's got a 3090 as well. He's got Founders Edition. The difference in frame rates in the benchmarks that we ran, and these are VR benchmarks, not Valley or Heaven. These are um, proper VR benchmarks set to 8K. Okay, future VR mode it's called in the benchmark we used and the difference in frames per second was two frames between his 10900k and my 7700k now he streams and does lots of video work so his 10 on his 10900k pieces all over my CPU when it comes to being able to game in VR at high frames recording at the same time video editing encoding number crunching all that his CPU is 10900k is better than mine but at pure gaming with no streaming no recording he was getting two frames more and that's not average average was one frame okay so he was getting two frames more while gaming compared to me so there's my CPU currently currently running at 4.9 gig okay now before I show you my 3090 GPU overclock I want to make it very clear that if you copy my settings and your graphics card blows up it's got nothing to do with me okay I'm just showing you what I've got my GPU overclock set to okay understood good so there's my overclock. Core voltage 
all the way to the right, power limit all the way to the right, temperature limit all the way to the right, core clock is plus 150, memory clock is plus 400 and I've got my fan permanently set to 70% okay his founders edition is actually set higher he's got his core clock at 165 and his memory clock at a thousand so he's got a nugget of a card as soon as I put my memory up to 1000 I started seeing artifacts on the screen and all sorts of crap so I lowered it down to 400 and I'm hitting 90 FPS in a Seto Corsa using high and ultra settings at full HP Reverb G2 render scale So, that 10900K that my friend uses has got 10 cores with hyper threading turned on. It's got 20 cores. Okay, 10 physical cores, 20 virtual cores. Okay, because of hyper threading. There's not a game out there that needs 10 cores. It's only been the last 12 months that um, game developers are actually utilizing four cores and up. So the fact that anything over 1340p Sorry, 1440p, which is 3440 by 1440. Okay, so that's your ultra wides. Anything up from that, 4K, um, super ultra wide, 2K VR, 4K VR Pimax, 5K Pimax. When you're running VR, at those, with those headsets your your CPU is just sat there receiving instructions from your GPU your GPU is doing all the processing okay if we did the comparison earlier between my 7700k and my friends 10900k at 1080p he would probably see a 50 frames per second difference because at that low resolution um, the graphics card is obviously doing some work but your GPU is working your CPU is running a lot harder so I just wanted to share this little test we've done because I'm glad um, in fact, I didn't even know he had a 10900K. We were talking about it and he said, well, let's do a test. Because I was actually about to upgrade my motherboard and my CPU. Because I too was thinking, maybe I'm not getting the best performance out of my 3090 because my CPU is lagging behind. But it's not the case. And I've proven it. So that's it. End of discussion. As usual, I know I'm going to get some comments on this one because I've already had one guy telling me that I need to upgrade to a more modern GPU, uh, CPU. But I've proven today that you don't. If you're gaming at 4K and upwards, your 7700K CPU and your 2080 Ti and your 3080 and your 3060 and your 3070 
and the upcoming 3080 Ti and your 3090 or whatever AMD's bragging about these days, those graphics cards are going to run fine, especially in VR. If you're still gaming at 1080p on one of these 300 hertz monitors and you absolutely need to hit that 200 to 300 FPS in G-Sync or V-Sync because you're, you're, you're an eSports competitor, then yeah, 7700K is lagging behind. End of discussion. Let's discuss.